Now, I'm a lucky man. I've got two young ladies on the phone. I've got Vicar and Linda Bull. G'day, ladies. Hello, Rusty. Hey. G'day, Rusty. You know, I can't tell which is which. Who's who? <laughs> okay. I said, hello, Rusty, first, and then Linda said, g'day, Rusty. Right. <laughs> and I thought it was the other way around. And you know what? No. Does it matter? Not really. Now, listen. Doesn't matter. You've just released... It doesn't matter. It, no. <laughs> um, you've just released not one single, but two singles. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. And uh, wh why two singles? Can I ask? Linda, you answer. Oh, Rusty, thank you, Vic. Uh, I reckon um, it's because there's two of us. And we, we both sing one each, and we thought we'd lead out as a, you know, head out as a block uh, with, with a double whammy. We thought, let's have one each. Let's release them at the same time, because we kind of couldn't decide which one was, which one was going to go first. And so we went, let's go together. Yep. And yeah, having, yeah. having seen the, the vids, I can understand that. And as you pointed out, yes, there's two of you, two singles. And last year, you had two albums. And yes, we did. And one debuted at number one, and the other one debuted at number two. So it's like, do you do do, do you do everything in pairs? We like to. We we enjoy working together, Rusty. We like um, we like singing together and working together. I mean, we've managed to keep it going for over thirty years now. So you know, and and I think the reason why we wanted to release two singles is because. Even though we sing together, we do also sing separately. And so, you know, Linda likes to take lead on some things. I like to take lead on others. And then we like to come together and harmonise. But, you know, to, just to showcase the different voices and, and the, you know, just different topics, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and I get that too. Do you ever agree to, shall we say, not fight, but do you ever agree to disagree <laughs> over who gets what vocal on what song? Oh, Rusty, yeah. We, we, we're we pretty fair, generally speaking. We know that in a broad sense, who, you know, we play to our strengths. Like Vicka said once, we know what the other one can handle and what the other one can't. But on this record in particular, we decided to swap things around a bit, like play around with uh, who was doing what. And we do, we did come to, you know, a bit of a disagreement over one song, didn't we, Vic? Yeah. <laughs> But but I won in the end, <laughs> and but generally we're pretty we're we're pretty reasonable. We we do what's best for the song, really. Yeah, we um, can sing the song the best, must be. Yeah, and uh, on this album, the the songwriting credits are pretty amazing. How how did you get how did you get such a long list of collaborative songwriters of such amazing talent like Don Walker, Neil Murray? Mick Thomas, Casey Chambers and Brandon Dodd, Paul Kelly. Well, Paul, I know why, because he's been around you guys for a long time. But how, did, how long was this process of putting an, an album together? And may I say, it's your first original album in 19 years. Yes, it is. And Linda, you answered this question. Well, I think Vicka's handed the baton over to me, Rusty, because she, Vicka was touring. It was, it's taken four years, Rusty. Yeah. We first started looking for songs four years ago. Vicar was on tour with the Edda James show in, in the United Kingdom. And I thought, let's, I can't sort of sit here and do nothing. I want to help. So I started by ringing Bill Page from Mushroom Music Publishing. And he and I together then just decided to ring as many people as we could. It didn't matter whether they were really famous singers, songwriters or not. It, we just spread the, not, the, car, the net really wide. And all those people responded and, and more. And we just took the list of songs that we had and we slowly whittled them down and over four years. And the 12 that are on the record are the ones that Vic and I, you know, that, that stuck around the longest and that, that resonated the most with us. So it did take a long, long time, must be. And a lot of the songwriters could have taken their songs back and thank God they didn't. 
Yeah, which presumably leads to the title of the album, which is called The Weight, as in W-A-I-T. Um, yeah. So, so presumably, being a press man, the weight is over, and all there's all, all the PR stuff. Presumably, you called it the weight because it's been a long time coming, and it is has been a weight. Well, that's exactly why we called it that, and it was our manager Lisa Palermo who came up with the weight. So we have her to thank for that because we went through about a thousand titles. We, we looked at all the lyrics, we looked at all the song titles on the album and then we were driving along one day and Lisa said, why don't you call it The Weight? And we just kind of all went silent and went, and she went, W-A-I-T. We went, okay. <laughs> we all agreed on that one and that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, well, so thank you, Lisa. Well, thank you, Lisa. Um <laughs> and what a, you couldn't have chosen a better manager, really, could you? Oh, she's fantastic. Absolutely. Anyway, back no, to what we're here yeah, for. No, she, yeah, no, but she's great. Lee, I want to say that something rusty about Lisa. Sure. She's great, not only in, in business and stuff, but she works really well with us. You know, um, she collaborates with us, so she she's in on everything. Like we, we discuss, you know, song choice and and you know everything can. <laughs> just about everything that we do, really. And she's got really good taste. I've got to say, she's got really good musical taste. Uh, so it's great to have a, her to sort of have as a sounding board because she'll always say, nah, that's daggy. Don't do that. Yeah. You know? so and she, she will tell yeah, the truth. Great. <laughs> she will she tell will you tell straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Anyway, back, back to the music. Uh, mm. And uh, we asked uh, on, on our social media uh, if people had a question they'd like to ask and one of the questions that came back was what is your background and how does that background and upbringing influence your music oh, oh, you our, back that one? All right. well, our background is um uh, we were born in melbourne um my mother came out from tonga to australia in 1959 um to study nursing met our father and they got married, and they're still together. They're 87 years old. They brought us up. We grew up in Doncaster, um, but we had we were influenced a lot by the Tongan church because we had to go to church every Sunday. So we got to listen to the Tongan sing every every weekend because they would, after church they come round to our house and bring their ukuleles and guitars, and, um, and so we got to listen to the Tongans harmonise, which was really great um, education for us. Not only that, our father loved music as well, so he. He loved people like um, Elvis Presley and Mahalia Jackson and, and you know, uh, Bill Haley and the Comets and sort of music like that. So he had a really great record collection. So that's really our background. A couple of Melbourne girls. And that, that's influenced us because we have that sort of bicultural upbringing, Rusty. is a good question, actually, because the Tom and Harmonizer, and like Vicka said, they're really great singers and... And we, that has influenced the way we sing and the way we learn how to sing. It's kind of a free, non-formal way of learning how to sing. We didn't have a lot of lessons or had very little lessons as kids. So it's just sort of instinctive in a way that the Polynesian harmonise is just so beautiful and Vicar and I picked it up from very, very early age. And so we just carried that over into sort of our careers in bands and stuff because that's what we knew. Yeah. Uh, and that's sort of that's our sound. That's what we concentrate on is our harmony. Absolutely, and it definitely is uh, and has been a unique sound for, uh, I would about to say 30 years, but I'll say three weeks because, you know, I don't <laughs> want to put an age on you guys, you know. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Rusty. That's all right. <laughs> that's okay. Another question was, what's your favourite song to perform live? Please ask them individually. So. Wow. <laughs> oh. Really hard question. It changes oh. every. It changes every gig. Yeah. 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 Okay. It yeah. changes every gig. It's like, okay. Uh, uh, that's, that's, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> another good question. Can you answer it, Linda? What's your oh, favorite I can't. Song? Actually, I love singing down on the jetty with Vicar. If you're thinking about a song that we sing together, it's really unusual because it's unison. It's not harmony at all except for one 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 word um but it's hard to do because we have to sing because we're so used to slipping into harmony like it's like a really easy thing for us to do but unison is completely different discipline and i like the sound we get together when we sing down on the jetty a song we wrote um together so that's one of my favorites 
because it's really hard to do right. Yeah, cool. I Thank you. Say, my favorite song. My favorite song to sing at the moment is the new single that we've just released. So because they're yeah. new and um, uh, you know, they're just it. It's just because they're new. That's why. That's I like right. It. And yeah, and. So it's, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Vicky, you you sing "My Heart Is in the Wrong Place." Is that correct? Have I got it yeah. right or back to front? You got it right. Hey. What my 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 place is in the wrong heart, or my heart is in the wrong place? <laughs> I mean, back to front. <laughs> Did you mean to call in? My place is in the wrong heart. Not a bad title, ever. <laughs> yeah. Now you're both yeah, confusing no, me. Is... <laughs> <laughs> That's Vicket a... sings, my heart is in the wrong place, Rusty, and I sing, raise your hand. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> and my heart and is in the wrong in... place. With... And the pair of you also, in those two clips, showcase one of Melbourne's favourite, favourite venues as well, which is close to my heart, which is the ESPY, um, the Esplanade yeah. Hotel in St Kilda. Um, and you guys show it off excellently well. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Well, well we thought yeah, it would be good to go back to our roots, didn't we, Vic? Yeah, we went back to our roots. We had a we played there a lot, you know, in, in the eighties and nineties. We had a residency there. We go there to watch Diana Kiss every Monday night, and then we go there Sunday night to watch the Bad Boys, Batty Parter, and we just we seemed to live at that joint. So Phil Power, yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, that's right. So it was good to go back and and make a clip there in St Kilda, and you know, yeah. we also loved the Palais as well, and yeah, Luna Park. It was just yeah. palm trees, and <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, that's sort of like a nod to our island heritage. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, mm. here's a joint question for you: um, What is the most special moment you've shared together on stage? Oh wow! Oh. I mean, you must have had been so a lot. many. The I, think was when we were, I think when we were in Tonga and we got to perform mm. for our grandmother. I thought of that too. I agree 100%. She'd never seen us sing before, never once, Rusty. Wow. And we went to Tonga and we sang on her in her country for her. Well, that's pretty beautiful yeah. and special, I would think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's that one. That's I don't wonderful. Know she liked it, but... <laughs> <laughs> of course she liked it. Of, of course she'd yeah. like it. And I think she, she probably would have to told you straight if she didn't. Now, yeah, she would have just her arm. Okay. Now, she, she, yeah. I've got one more question. Um, uh, you've you've worked and sang with pretty much everyone. You know, Joe Camilleri, of course, Farnham, Archie Roach, Deborah Conway, Ross Wilson, Paul Kelly. Uh, you've sung all around the world, even in Tonga to your grandmother, um, and. I also saw uh, in one of your bios that you'd actually also worked and done a song with Iggy Pop at Peter Gabriel's mm -hmm. studio in England. That must have been pretty strangely special. <laughs> it was strangely special. It was uh, strangely special, yeah. We love Iggy. Iggy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was interesting. We just, he came and he... He came and sang on a Paul Kelly song called I Know Where to Go to Feel Good with Us. We were, supposed to, we were there um, doing WOMAD and uh, Peter Gabriel wanted us to collaborate with someone and we hadn't really managed to get our shit together. And finally, um, Iggy Pop agreed to come and help us. He came to the studio the next day and, and guested and sang with us, which was quite intimidating. It was like, it was fun, but yeah, fun but scary. Yeah. Yeah, because it was a bit of a shit yourself moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. having yeah. dropped all these names and worked with all these people, is there still a little sort of black book and they're going, I really want to work with so and so. We really w should work with so and so. Is who who's who's on your bucket list still to work with? Ooh. Um uh, May the Staples, Linda Ronstad. Uh Oh, there's so many. I can't. Mick, do Lady I Gaga. Something? Lady Gaga. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Uh, lots of people. I, I, yeah, you can't. You know, just 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 being able just to 
just lots of musicians and lots of people we love to play with. I just think, you know, just even just when we got to the musicians that played on our new record, you know, they're really special people to work with and, and we just, you know, thank our lucky stars that they agreed to play on our record, really, because they're wonderful musicians, very talented. So I remember, we, I remember, yeah, we met, we saw Mavis at, at Bluefest actually last year and got so nervous, couldn't speak. Like, we wanted to say hello and tell her how much we loved her and she had the band room next door to us. We were just, I, I, I think we just sort of, Linda had a photo taken next to her name on her dressing room door. <laughs> she loves her. That was a close, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Mavis is pretty special and a pretty special member of our Blues Fest family, like you guys are, because uh, as, as well as being Vicar and Linda, you've also been here many times uh, with rock quiz and... Um, yeah. And stuff. So you're you're yeah. you're here pretty much every other year, sort of thing. You're part of our family, and we like to, you know, we're yeah. proud of that too. Well, we That's do the festival very much. Yeah, we're very proud and very lucky that we get to perform there a lot. We we don't take it for granted because it's a special time for us, and we really enjoy it. And we love seeing all the acts that that play there, and just the whole vibe is just really cool. Yeah. We like to think so, and you're going to be part of you're going to be part of the cool. Um, who's in the band that you you're bringing? Who's coming with you? Lily, there you go, Vic. Oh, okay. So, um, uh, Cameron Bruce on piano, um, uh, Richard Bradby on bass, Lachlan O'Kane on guitar, Ben Helpman, uh, Lachlan O'Kane on drums, Ben Helpman on guitar. Uh, so pretty much, um, and we'll probably, I think that's the lineup for Lee's Fest. We'll have our full band and we'll probably do a lot of the songs off our new record. Yeah. And uh, because we've got so many other people on the lineup that you've worked with, is the, you know, is there a chance that, the, you know, and, and who've written for you, is there a chance that uh, there might be um, a little sort of, a guest in the wings, maybe, maybe. You probably haven't thought of that yet, but I'm putting it in your head. I haven't head. thought of that. But now, now that you've said that, it's actually me going, oh. Oh, going to be. Oh, Casey's going to be there. Yeah. Be there. <laughs> yeah. So it's Paul. So it's Paul. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. We don't know. Okay. Mm. Well, there you go. It's a mystery. A mystery performance of all the latest works and your fabulous hits. <laughs> like... <laughs> when will you fall yeah. for me and stuff? Oh, yeah, we'll do that for sure. Which yeah. I love. We'll do all the old hits. Which, yeah, which I we'll love. We'll do that and never let me go. And yeah. 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 Okay. Well, on that happy note, you travel safe and stay safe till we see you at Blues Fest in just a few weeks' time. Oh, we we're, can't wait. Yeah, we're looking forward to it, Rusty. 